Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is validations and substitutions. So firstly, we will understand the meaning of validations and then we will understand the meaning of substitutions. So firstly, what are validations? The term itself is suggesting they are used to validate the data or they are used to validate the values. So validations are used to validate the values or data that are entered into the SAP system. Suppose simple example, we are creating a accounting document. You all know you can create a accounting document through FP01. Suppose customer is saying whenever we will create a accounting document, if the company code is ABC, the cost center XYZ is allowed. Only the cost center XYZ is allowed. It means we, this is a validation. We are validating the data that for this company code, only this cost center is allowed. And just see, this is only one validation we are talking about in real project. We have so many validation. Then we will always do this with the help of validations. Because in real project, suppose customer is saying for company code this, this is the thing. For company code this, this is the thing. For company code this, this is the thing. It means we have so many validations. We need to validate so many values. So we will achieve through validations. Now, whenever we will go for validation, validation rules are stored in the rule manager. Just now we talk about one rule for company code ABC, the cost center XYZ is allowed. It means it is one rule. Suppose for company code, another company code, this cost center is allowed. It means this is another rule. So whatever the rules you are defining, it will store into the rule manager, rule manager. Now, Whenever you will enter that data, we have two things here. First one is integration manager and the second one is your rule manager. Integration manager and the second one is rule manager. What is rule manager? In this rule manager, you have all the rules to validate that data. Suppose just now I took the example. For company code ABC, the cost center XYZ is allowed. Suppose I will go for another rule. Suppose for company code DEF, suppose the cost center 1, 2, 3 is allowed. So these all rules are stored into the rule manager. Now these all rules are in the rule manager. Whenever you will enter that data, this integration manager will check the rules into this rule manager. So integration manager, the purpose of integration manager is to check the rules in the rule manager. If it is okay, suppose for company code ABC, you enter the cost center XYZ, no problem. If we enter the another cost center for company code ABC, then the integration manager will say, no, this rule, it is violating this particular rule. So integration manager, yes, when we enter the data, integration manager validate that data based upon the rules which we defined in the rule manager. Rule means so many rules based upon the requirement, whatever the rules you are specifying, it will be in the rule manager and integration manager will check. Where it will check what are the various rules and based upon that, it will validate that particular data. Now that data is validated. Now the document has not posted. Before that itself, we are going for the all the validations. 
it means that only the valid data will save into the SAP system because before creating a accounting document, before posting a accounting document, all these validations will be checked. So only the valid data will go to the SAP system. Now that transaction code for validation maintenance is GGP0. Maintenance means we will create the validation, we will change the validation, we will delete the validation through this GGP0 transaction code. Now I will move on to substitution. The term itself is suggesting the substitution are used to substitute the values based upon certain prerequisites, based upon certain condition. Suppose simple example, you are creating a accounting document or you are posting a accounting document. Suppose for company code, this, this cost center is allowed. It means this is a validation. Now suppose for company code, this, this cost center is allowed, but we have a dedicated field, suppose payment mode, it will be automatically substitute with the value X. It means your data is validated. After that, what we are doing, we are passing a default value to another field. We are substituting or we are passing the value to another field based upon that. We are substituting that data. So example, suppose I am posting an accounting document. If the company code ABC and cost center is XYZ, then the payment mode will be automatically substituted with the value X. And in real project, so many times we go for substitution because customer is saying, I will not put the data into this particular field. If this is the case, this is the case, this field should be automatically take this particular value. So at that time, we will go for substitution. Yes, again, same to same thing. When you defined the validations, validations stored into what? In the rule manager. Same substitution also, also are defined in the rule manager. Suppose we are saying if company code is ABC, cost center is XYZ, then the payment mode will be automatically substituted by X. Suppose if the company code is DEF and cost center is 1, 2, 3, the payment mode will be automatically substituted by Y. So these all rules will be in the rule manager. And whenever you will enter that data, integration manager will check the rules in the rule manager and it will substitute that data. Whenever you will enter that data, integration manager, substitute the data based upon the rules which we would define in the rule manager. Only the name are changing. Whenever we have validation, the rules are called as validation rules. Whenever we have substitution, the rules are called as sub substitution rules. Again, substitution also occurs before posting that data into the system, before data go to SAP tables. It means, yes, whatever the values we are substituting, that, that data will store into the SAP table. Now, for validation, the transaction code is GGP0 and for the substitution, that transaction code is GGP1. We have to replace just 0 with 1. So, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with a new concept or topic that is validations and substitution. Firstly, term itself is suggesting validations are used to validate the data or values which you are entering into the SAP system. Now, 
suppose we are going for so many validations sometime suppose customer is saying for this company code this cost center is allowed for this company code this cost center is allowed so what we will do we will go for ggp0 transaction code we will define all those validations and whenever we will define those validation those validation rules are stored into the rule manager and integration manager will check the rules in the rule manager if everything is okay yes document will post successfully yes if the rules are violating which are defined in the rule manager so it will go for the specific action which we are deciding suppose we are going for information message or error message anyways that is the part of the practical now this whole validations occurs before creating or saving it means whenever you are validating before saving itself it means whenever that data is correctly validated the valid data will save into the system so wrong data will never never save to the sap tables now the purpose of substitution is to substitute the values based upon certain prerequisite i am talking about prerequisite prerequisite means the means condition suppose i am saying for company code abc cost center x suppose cost center xyz so this is a prerequisite this is a condition when both are true then we are substituting the value of payment mode to x similar to validation substitution rules are also in the rule manager yes whenever you will enter that data integration manager will go to rule manager and it will substitute based upon the rules which you define and yes this also occurs before posting or creating a document so yes it means whatever we are substituting that value will save into the table and the transaction code for substitution maintenance is ggp5 now in the next video we will firstly understand what are the various steps to implement a validation what are the various steps to implement a substitution we will take the real examples and then we will achieve through substitution and validations so that's it in this video thank you